Welcome to Flow with Mira, I'm Mira, and this is Everyday's Pilates Workout. This is a perfect class for you to do every day, prepare your body for any kind of challenges the day may bring. And if you love working out with me, Flow with Mira membership has over than 200 classes from pre-Pilates to intermediate. Click the link above and join me in my membership. So let's get started with this class. We're gonna start the class standing. Prepare body, standing position, because we spend a lot of our time standing. All right, so standing upright, knee, heel in line, heel in line with our sitting bone, nice and tall. Let's take your left hand behind your head here. Inhale, side bend over to your right. Exhale, come back up. Nice and easy to start and prepare your body. And in breath over, exhale. Two more, inhale, feeling the length of the waistline here as you stretch over. And last one, in breath and change. Other arm, inhale, side bend over and exhale. And reaching out, stretching the side of our body so we can breathe easier, so our rib cage can expand better. In breath, exhaling here. Last one, and both hands behind the head here. We are going to some forward flexion. So we round our spine forward, pulling the upper abdominal up, pressing your head gently into your hands, and then upright, and extending the back here. Support your head with the arms, and upright. Exhale, we round, flex, inhale, and back into extension, exhale. Take it easy with the spine, and upright, extend back, and two more times. Exhale forward, in breath, and extend back, upright. Last set, forward, and up, and arch and back, drop the arms, stretch your arms up to the sky, arch a little bit, open the chest to the sky and bring the arms down and upright. Again, in breath, reach up, open, and three, two. If the extension is too much today, just move the arms. And one more, in breath and tall, okay. All right, stay in that parallel position, bend the knees forward, sit down, and the back is still upright. So we are gonna wrap in our natural corset here and take the arms forward. So this is our standing footwork, normally done on the reformer, but we can do it here. Stretch it up, in breath, exhale. So we think about our alignment here, making sure that the knees are over your feet and your pelvis, the center of the hips, is in line with the heels. And forward, and up, nice and tall here, and up, two more, and up. Last one with stay, hold that, secure your center, lift the heels up, balance. Heels come up, and down, and up. So we're challenging our balance here, up and mobilizing our ankle bones and helping us to walk better. And lift and down. Two more, left and down. Left one, stay up, straighten the leg, hold that balance here. Now keep the heels up, open the arms, bend the knee. If you need assistance, which is absolutely fine, grab a chair or a wall and back up. In breath, open. Exhale, in breath, open, exhale. This standing exercises is going to help you with your balance and your proprioception in your daily activities, such as walking and getting in and out the car, sitting, standing up, gardening, pushing the pram, and many more. Oh, I need to balance. One more, and then bring it up, and then lower the heel 
Good job. All right, hands on the hips here, rising up to the ball of the feet, lower the right heel down, making sure this hip does not sway out to the side. Stay in the middle, left and change, and change, and change. So the breathing goes, exhale, exhale, inhale, inhale. So we want to minimize the swaying of the pelvis as we drop the heels, which means, you know, think about the sitting and drawing together to the middle, Zooming out the pelvic floor, guarding the two sides here, engaging the glute muscle here, engaging your center. Last set. In breath. Stretch up and down. Arms long by the side. Let's stand on the front of the mat here. We are going to do some standing roll downs. Take an in breath. Exhale, wrist roll down. Starting from the crown of the head here. Soften the knees. Drawing the abdominal in, try to get into that deflection in the lower back and then tip the pelvis forward and forward, pull yourself a little deeper to the floor in breath. Checking, feet are parallel, by the way. Exhale, press down in the feet and lifting up in the center, rolling up the spine and tall we go in breath. Two more times. Exhale, down we go. Rounding, rounding, rounding. And forward flex in the hip socket in breath. Exhale, rolling up, rolling up, rolling up. And as you go upright, think about lightness in the spine and elongating the spine up to the sky. Opening across the front of the chest and anchoring the shoulder blades down into your middle back. One more, exhale, rolling down, articulating fluidly, smooth, and bend the knees really to support your spine all the way down to the floor. Scan the body, take a mental note, how are you feeling today? And roll back up, and nice and tall, and we need to get to the floor, so we roll down, Flex forward, tip the pelvis forward, place your hands down here. Now I want you to bring the knees down to the floor and then relax the ankles, sit the bottom to your heels and then transfer the legs forward to a parallel position here. So knees bent, spreading the toes onto the mat, spreading the feet onto the mat, hands underneath the thigh. Beautiful tall spine, strong spine. Grab the back of your thighs as if you're going to pick up those legs off the floor. Engage the shoulders down, widen through the elbows here. Inhale. As you exhale into a C curve, thinking about the lower abdominal rounding the lumbar spine, and then the upper spine will just follow to accommodate that rounding that flexion and then here we're going to curl the pelvis underneath you until the arms are straightened so we have this little concave shape here and then gliding arms down towards the bottom and see if you can get the lower back printing off the floor and then exhale rewind that coming up over the pelvis move the arms and then pick yourself up Plant the spine tall, sitting bone down, anchoring to the floor. And pulling in lower abs, rounding this back here, the sticky bit here. Then rolling back, get the sacrum onto the floor, straighten the arms, then glide arms to the pelvis. See if you can really imprint that lower back down to the floor here. Then exhale. You can use full abdominals and relax the arms or you can have your arms help you up into that C curve and upright. Again, into the C curve, roll back. And then here, if you feel like I do not need the arms today, take your arms forward. If you need the arms today to support you, go ahead and do so. In breath. Exhale, pulling up, 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 up. And then lift the back. One more, seek her. And rolling back, imprint the sacrum down, lower back down, hold, and come back up again. 
and I'm lifting up the spine and the very, very last one. I did say last before, but we are going to the last, last here. And we go all the way into the chest lift position. Stay. Walk your feet closer towards your pelvis here. Arms long by the side and release the head down. Ready for our pelvic curl. So make sure the heels are in line with the sit bone here. Opening across the front of the chest gently. Have a little downward energy in the arms and downward energy with the feet and drive the feet towards your pelvis. And exhale, initiate from the abdominal, imprint the lower back down to the floor. So it's not really your glute squeezing to imprint the lower back, but really the abdominal sinking to imprint the lower back. And then rolling up through the spine, your hamstring will start kicking on here and then all the way up. The glutes will finish it. Press the arm so you can lift the whole torso up and the pelvis up and exhale, melting down, imprinting every single vertebra down to the floor and back to your start position, which is, I hope it's a neutral pelvis here. And then exhale. Imprinting the lower spine, using the abdominal, curling up, and then hamstring will start to help you up here and then finishing up with the glute. And here, a little checkpoint, make sure the ball, the big toes, the ball of the big toes pressing down so you can engage your inner thighs so that your knees do not splay out to the side. And exhale, roll down again. And release, let's do two more here. Exhale to roll up, nice and easy, mobilizing the spine, which is super, super important. And then here, as you roll down, let's take the arms up and imprint the upper spine, middle spine. As we get to the lower spine, the arms are up to the sky and then arms overhead, the pelvis lengthen back to your start position without lifting the ribs up. The ribs stays lengthened towards the pelvis, which means the upper abdominal is engaged. And then rolling back up again. And then as you come up with the pelvis, the arms go down in breath. Exhale, roll down. As you roll the spine down, the arms float up and up and stretch that spine down. Reach the arms overhead. Keep the rib cage connecting, connected to your pelvis and stay. Open the arms out to the side here. Legs feet together, spine twist supine, squeezing the legs together. Let's rotate towards me first. We're going to inhale from the waistline. We bring the legs over towards me. So we are rolling to the outside of the foot and then bring it back center over to you, which is my left. So we are going to roll over to the left and bring in the right foot off the floor and going towards the outer side of the left foot, and then using the right obliques, we bring the whole leg back to the center. Inhale. Control the movement, bring the legs together as one unit, so it's not really a stretch, although it is kind of nice to have a stretcher, but we want to think about control here and position center. And knees together, feet together, over towards you. Rolling to the outside of the left foot. Exhale, center. One more set. Inhale over towards me, which is my right. And my left foot will come off. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale over to the left. And then exhale, come back to center. All right, arms long by the side of the body here. Take an in-breath. As you exhale, I want you to secure your center. So draw in the abdominal muscle enough to stabilize the pelvis and the lumbar spine, meaning that we do not want to rock the pelvis and the lumbar spine, and we want to keep the pressure of the, the internal pressure of the abdominals downward towards the floor. So we breathe out without jiggling the pelvis, without jumping the belly out. Take the right leg up to the 90-90 position on the tabletop here. So secure your center, lower the leg down from the hip joint. Exhale, take it up again. So if I have a cup of tea resting on top of my pelvis here and the cup of tea should not be spilling, 
because it should be stable on it because my belly is not pushing out and my pelvis shouldn't be rocking and should and should be your pelvis too and lower changing other side so we got abdominal sinking folding at the hip try not to jump the belly out and bring it up to 90 90 tabletop lower down in breath exhale folding and down exhale you can also place your hands in front of the pelvis to check on it and see how you're doing are we keeping the internal pressure of the abdominal downward to the floor and are we keeping the spine and the pelvis stable and not rocking away one more here, take it up, stay. Moving to our leg changes, so lift the other heel up. As you breathe out, switch the leg. And switch the leg. So we are loading the abdominal a little bit more here, so there's a lot more effort to stabilize the pelvis, to stabilize the center. See if we can channel our awareness and our concentration in the mid area there. And if you find the floor is too far away for you to stabilize, you do not have to touch the floor. Maybe midway, floating, and, and then you can progressively touch the floor. Exhale, one more set, and change. Both legs up to tabletop, squeeze them together. Open the arms again to table, not tabletop, to the T position. Another spine, twist the spine over to me as we in breath. Again, the legs stay together at all time. Exhale, come back to center and the shoulder stays anchored. Inhale over towards you. From the waistline, we rotate and exhale, deepening the obliques to come back. Inhale over towards me. Exhale, again. I know it feels nice to stretch and then collapse right down to the floor, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for control. So the shoulder should stay down, absolutely down, moving from the waistline, challenging our oblique, waking up our obliques, and then come back to center. That's the last one. Lower one foot down, second down, parallel legs, hands interlaced behind the head. Okay, let's work our six pack, our rectus abdominis. So into a chest lift, elbows are floating off, support your head with your hands, take an in breath, exhale, lengthen the ribs down to the pelvis area, deflate the belly and lift the chest up. And just a little checkpoint to see if your hip bones here are level and between the left and the right. And come on down. Exhale forward. <sighs> Inhale, exhale down. And forward, in breath, and exhale down. Two more, in breath, exhale down. Last one, and exhale down. And forward we go again, stay. Reach the hands forward, fingers touching each other. Up rotation over to your right to me. Up and over to the middle, rotate to the left. Up and over to the middle, exhale, twist, in breath, exhale, twist, in breath, two more, and last set, last one, and center hold, hands behind, come on down, stretch your arms overhead, take the legs up to 90, 90, one, Secure your center, second leg up joining, legs together, hundreds preparation, arms up, curl up, in breath, arms up, and down, back down. Again, arms, exhale, lift high, inhale, arms up, and back down. Again, exhale, in breath, last one, and up in breath as time for the hundreds and we go up you can keep the legs at tabletop or straight up to the sky or diagonal position stay in breath and let's go exhale inhale five exhale five four three two one and inhale pump 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 
We need to keep the chest up here. Three more set. Last set. Hold, knees in, head down. Well done. One foot down. Oh, second leg down. Stretch your left leg down. Right leg tabletop and dorsiflex stretched. Let me engage the quadricep. We bend and stretch. We bend. Last one. Stay. Leg circle across. Down, in breath, stay parallel, exhale, one run. Inhale, stabilize the pelvis, exhale, inhale, exhale, last set, exhale, stay. Reverse, out, down, in breath, exhale. So keep the legs straight here, in breath, exhale, squeeze the quadriceps, in breath, exhale, last set. Exhale, stay, grab the back of your thigh, pull the leg closer towards you for a quick hamstring stretch. Maybe you can grab the ankle or the calf. Stay there for three, pluck the leg down to the floor, two, one, release, bend the knee, slide the leg down on the floor and just feel the difference between the two legs. Other side, bring the other leg in, tabletop, stretch, extend. Squeeze that quads. We bend. Again, stretch, 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 stretch. And then one more. Stretch, hold. Leg circle across the body. Inhale. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. Last set. Exhale. Stay. Reverse. In. Exhale. In. Exhale. Last one, stay, grab the back of your thigh or your calf, pull the leg towards you, pluck the leg down to the floor and then pull, 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 grab your ankle or your calf if you wish, stay, three, two and release, bend the knee, stretch the leg long, arms overhead, roll up, squeeze the legs together. You are welcome to do this with the bent knee version. We inhale, chest lift, arms straight, legs straight, pull in the abdominal, imprint the back, then pick yourself up into that C curve and then exhale, roll down. What I meant is if you feel like the straight leg is too challenging today, go ahead and bend the knee as you roll down and then take your arms overhead. Again, lifting up, and then rounding, and then you can straighten the legs long. So you can choose any version that works for you best today, and then adjust it accordingly. And in breath, exhale, and exhale, overhead. Last one, in breath, exhale, up, 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 straight back, open the legs, Adjust the bottom, spine stretch, lifting. Exhale, we roll down, stretch forward as you inhale. Get a bit more of that stretch in the back of the legs here and then roll back up. Make sure that your feet are dorsiflex and really drive the heel down to the floor and towards the sitting bone. And exhale, rolling down and forward in breath. Exhale, rolling up and lifting up tall. And two more, rolling down and forward. And then rolling back and upright. Last one. And just reach a little bit more forward, but still keep that rounding of the back. And then rolling up and tall. Now from here, grab the ankle. From here, lift in the back. Tall through the spine here. Now I want you to really try to get that tush, that sitting bone reaching back. Grab the hands, grab the ankle, lift in the spine here and just stretch forward. Stay there for five, four, three, two. Brilliant. Bend the knee, take it in, hands behind, fingertips to your bottom here, opening the chest. Your legs can stay apart here, 
drop to your right, twist to the left from your upper chest, center, drop to the left, twist to the right, and center, two more each side, and, and change, one more each side, last one here, come back, and push off, cross the leg onto a quadruped position here, now I want you to have your fingertips facing each other here, it's a little bit different than normal, align the knee and the hip bone here, all right, now I want you to do a little circle here, we're going to go forward with the body, over to your left, down, back, and a three direction, three times in one direction, and then we go to the other way, just stretching your wrist, and then the other way, because you use so much of the hand in a day, and sometimes we forget to mobilize the wrist, and back, all right, now here, come back to center, fingertips facing out to the side, and again, forward to the body, over to your right, your left and right, and then forward, circling over the wrist. I'm trying not to push it too much that you are actually feeling more pain than joy. The other way, round and round and one more and center. Now, fingertips towards the knee. Soften the elbow here and let's go stretch forward and back and around and three. Reverse the other way out, back, two and three. Release, relax, sit back for a second and let's lie on to the side. For our side lift, legs are straight here, bottom arm is long, top hand in front of the chest here, legs long. Lift the bottom waistline up and let's lift the legs up and down. Two and down. Three, feeling the obliques here working to lift the leg and last, we stay up there, hold it for five, four, Three, two, one. Release down, bend the knees. Take the arms forward in front of you and relax the head down. We're going to reach the top arm, bring it up to the sky and rotate backward. And bring it up and forward. Two more times. In breath, reach up and rotate. Reach back and close. And last one, reach up and open. And reach up and close. And then bend the elbow, push yourself up and switch side. Leg straight. Top hand in front here, lifting the underneath waistline and we go out. Legs together, make sure that the hip and the rib cage are still in line. Make sure you do not fall backward here. And lift. And two more. Lifting. Last one, we stay for five, four, three, two, one. We'll lift down, bend the knees, take the arms forward, rest your head down to the floor, chest opener here, we glide the top arm forward, take it up, and open, enjoy that stretch. Bring it up to the sky, bring it down in front of you, two more, inhale, and up, and out, and up, and close. Last one in, breath. And up, bring it back and close. And then help yourself up and roll to your front. Okay, let's go into a single leg kick here. So open the elbows out wider than the shoulder here. Plant the forearm down, pick up the abdominal. I want you to glide the shoulder blades out and lift the sternum forward. And the gaze is still down to the floor here. All right, so your back muscle is absolutely active here, squeezing the legs, bringing the legs off the floor without swaying in your back. So push off the floor, pick up the abdominal, right knee bent, left, right, left. We go, 
and sh, sh. Let's go inhale and inhale here. Exhale, sh, sh, sh. in breath and sh, sh, sh. inhale, inhale and sh, sh, sh. two more sets. Last, and extend both legs, stretched out, lower, release. Bring the forearm to the side of the body, push off the floor, round, sit the pelvis down to your heels for quick rest position, and tuck the toes under, lift the pelvis up to up stretch. Pick the pelvis up to the sky and send the bottom up, pressing the arms down, armpit forward to the floor and release the heels on for a delicious, delicious stretch here. So really trying to think about keeping the pelvis up to the sky like a Mount Everest here, pressing the armpit down, flat back, heels down, stay in breath, exhale. And then from here, walk your feet towards your hands. So walk forward, walk forward, walk forward, walk forward to a parallel fit position and just dangle the body down. And relax your arms here. And just go floppy for me for a second. In breath, let go all the tension in the neck, shoulders, spine, let it dangle. And then exhale, let's roll up, curl the tail under, bend the knees, nice and gentle roll down. Try not to jam anything easy through the spine. Coming up, coming up, coming up, and nice and tall. Find your upright, tallest position here. Deep inhalation with me. And deep exhalation. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I wish you a lovely, joyful day. Take care. Well done on completing this class, your star. I'm Mira, and I'm here to help you to love, look, and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free six-day intermediate challenge. Click the first link in the comments and join us in getting fit, strong, and feel energized with a calendar of new intermediate Pilates videos. This six-day challenge is taken from my 28 days intermediate Pilates program. If you would like to join the full 28 days, you'll find a link to my Flow With Mirror online membership in the description. See you in the next class.